Welcome to another cheddar and cheese tutorial video. This time we're talking achievements. We'll be showing you them in order and explaining them as thoroughly as we can. And if this helps you out, please like and subscribe and let's get to it. Right, and for our first achievement, we need to talk to these two numpties. What have these I got to say? How many has this guy done? Ten, but his record's 19. That's it. That is. It's way tougher than it looks, man. Why don't you give it a try, smart ass? Sure. Sure, I can do that. Smash it. Go on then. I'm waiting. Hey, you don't tell me when to do it. I'll do it when I want to. All right, sure. I don't care. Go whenever you like. All right. So what you gotta do now is actually gotta be his actual score, and for that we need to get to twenty. Pace yourself, boy. No, you're not pacing it. You've done it. You've burnt out. <laughs> Excuse the silence, folks. He's in deep concentration mode. Oh, here we go. Go, on. go, 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 go. Four more. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not. This is wrong. Come on, now. That's 18. Two more. Ah. One more. Oh. Final one. Come on. Do it for the vine. Ah. There we go. There we go. Who's the man? I told you. Didn't even break a sweat. Good luck. So once doing that, the achievement will pop for both of the people playing. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Right, for the next achievement, it's called Freedom. This is the area where Leo puts the chisel. This is the way you have to go uh, to escape. You've got to break this window. Yeah, very gently. Climb through, go through this door right here. And on the ledge will be the little birdie cage. Set this sucker free. They'll fly away and the achievement will pop for both people playing. Perfect. And for our next uh, achievement, as soon as you've had the cutscene to do with Harvard being an absolute knobhead, uh, when you get into the forest, you follow these rocks to your right hand side. And as far as I'm aware, there's some form of little gap to jump, which would be this bad boy here. Make sure old boy Steve don't fall. Uh, I'm not coming. Easy, easy. And then as far as I'm aware, we need both characters to sit down on here. And here we go. Boom, and there's your achievement. It's a couple of friends that are out camping. Why are you so sure they're friends? They could be brothers too. Yeah, they actually sound like brothers. For the next achievement, once you're inside the farmhouse and you've taken care of the old couple, whether you've sent them on a wild goose chase or let them up and put them in the cupboard, uh, you want to have both characters to head over to the grandfather clock located over here. And both of you need to press, it won't show the symbol to press anything, but I assure you it is there. And both characters have to press the button uh, at the same time. So three, two, one. And I guess no. he wasn't close enough. you got to be right in front of it. Okay. Again, three, two, one. There we go. And that will unlock a door to which is upstairs. All right, here. Head on through, and there'll be a chest in the corner. Open that bad boy up. You will lift the sword of destiny, bring it down, and the achievement will pop. For the next achievement, do you want to take both characters to do a bit of jamming? We need uh, old man Steve over there to go on piano, and then uh, young boy Derek here is going to go on banjo. And we're going to crank out some tunes. The idea is to uh, get 20 notes together without missing one. Uh, so you're probably best is picking easy so it can be done. 
Uh, obviously, a, a lot easier. Two hours later. There we go. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Once we finish playing, the achievement will show itself. That's good. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Come on, Vincent. Oh, you're good. Yeah, this sounds good, man. Didn't know you had it in you. What can I say? I'm full of surprises, and mostly good ones. I can tell. Yeah. Right, and the next achievement, and the final one in the farm area. Come out to the front of the house and towards the barn here, and you want to come to the windmill. The achievement is called Take It For A Spin. I'm going to climb on your way up the ladder here, and we got to manually rotate the windmill. Uh, just keep doing it until... The achievement shows itself. Okay, so here we go. I can make it go faster. Just keep it going, and it'll um faster, faster, ali ali aster. Higher, daddy, higher! <laughs> Come on, old man. And there we go. Take it for a spin. So to get the achievement, you started it. When you first enter the trailer park and you walk down the main path, there's a playground on your right hand side. You need both players to walk up to the swing and you both need to interact with it at the same time. What the hell are we doing? I don't know. You sat down first. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Did I? This is getting awkward. Yeah, this. Yeah, what? Nothing. And then your achievement should be in the bottom right hand corner. So, to get the achievement no cheating, you've got to go and talk to this little billy woman over here because supposedly her husband's been playing away. I'm looking for someone. So am I. My goddamn husband. He better be back soon. What'd he do? That bastard's been cheating on me and nobody cheats on Martha. I guess he didn't know that. Good luck anyway. If you see him, you let me know. I'll tell you what. If I see him, I'll think about it. So the next bit is this caravan here. You can clearly hear some of that on the inside. Uh, it has to be the same person who has spoken to the hillbilly lady at the top. He comes down and, and uh, knocks on the door here and see what's going on on the inside. Yeah? Hey, what's Ooh. going on in there? Never mind what's going on. What you want? Please, come on, honey. <laughs> Some legs. Okay, okay. I got you to go. Bye now. That's gotta be that lady's husband. Maybe I should tell her. Well, to complete the achievement, as you can see, you've now got to run all the way back. You've got to go and grass on him that like he's playing Lego with somebody else. And then uh, she's going to go and uh, put that back somewhere, I think. Hey, lady. Did you find him? Come with me. I might have an idea of where your husband is. You see that trailer over there? Yes. All yours. Oh, he's going to get it now. So it's roughly any time between now and the time she bangs on the, the door here and shows him a good what for that the achievement will show itself and, and, and it's all done and dusted. What the hell are you doing? Oh. Nobody cheats on Martha. The next achievement is called Home Run. It's in the same area as the no cheating and you started it achievement. It's just past the garage, you'll see these two here playing baseball. 
So the one batting is the one who will earn the achievement. And they have to hit a minimum of 175 points to earn the achievement. Once they have uh, hit them points, you got to switch over. And the one who was originally bowling will become batting and then earn the achievement. So at this point now, you should get the achievement in your bottom right hand corner. The next achievement is called Backseat Mechanic. It's in the second part of the trailer park. Once you head over here, a cutscene will happen and once that's finished, you want to get Leo to go inside, and have a little chinwag with his lad and then his wife will ask you to get something. So just see what she wants here, she'll ask you to go and get the wrench. Yeah, I do. Grab me a wrench from the shed over there, please. Absolutely, ma'am. Well, let's go and grab this for her, take it over. She'll do some twist turns, not some bolts. And then ask you to start that bad boy up. Here you go, ma'am. Thanks. Alright. Wanna start it up for me? Yeah, I could do that. Go ahead. Once you've started it up and revved it, the achievement should show itself in the bottom corner. So the next achievement is called Managed Anger. Once you've caught Ray in the construction site as Vincent, you have to speak to Ray and choose the push him back option. You will need Leo's help to do this. Once you get into the edge, the next part solely falls on Leo. So for this next bit, you need to walk over to this furthest table near the red door. There's usually a wallet on the desk. Generally pick that up and chuck that on the floor. If you stand near this desk, there's actually no interaction button, but if you do press the interaction button, just give it a second. I had enough of this. You're dead man, Ray. It's over for you. Take this. All you need to do is just give him the good old goodbye. Let's get back to now once you wake up and smell the roses, back to reality, the achievement will show itself in the bottom corner. So for the next achievement, it's called Live the Dream. Once you get to the maternity ward and you're coming down the corridor, there's a waiting room that you've got to go to. And in the far right hand corner, there is a TV. And all you've got to do is go and sit on the left hand side, which that's the key point. One of you will have to turn on the, uh, the old school television set here and pat their ass down on this sofa. It'll take about 30 seconds from sitting down for the cutscene to happen, and then it'll go from there. So once you get to the moon, I believe all you've got to do is walk over or slash walk run over to the uh, old space shuttle. Whoa, cool. This is awesome. Once you come to, there'll be a little bit more of a cutscene happening, and then the achievement will show itself for both people playing. So the next achievement is called Break From Reality. 
it's in the hangar here make sure you do this before opening the hangar doors so what you want to do is come over to the little arcade machine at the back of the hangar here uh, with both characters Vincent and Leo and press the arcade machine at the same time roughly once you enter the game uh, the achievement will show up for both people you don't have to play the game totally your choice And then after finishing that, you should definitely have the achievement in the bottom right hand corner. So, for his last achievement, you've got to do this before you open the anger doors. But if you just follow me through this very back storeroom, through the red door, we get to play with an helicopter. And once you've nearly killed yourself, the achievement should pop up in the right bottom right hand corner. Thank you for checking out our achievement tutorial video of A Way Out. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. I'm Cheddar. And I'm Cheese.